Okay, I want to talk to you about the 10 web page speed booster. I came across this on the back of a Daryl Wilson video a couple of days ago, and I was a bit surprised by the claims it's making. And Paul Charlton of WP Tuts also did a video today. And it kind of made me go, right, I, I need to have a look at this a little bit deeper. Mainly because what it claims is that it can take your website and with very little effort, because it does all its stuff behind the scenes, it will get you a high page speed score, you know, performance over 90%. And it reminded me a little bit of NitroPack. Now, I'm not a fan of NitroPack, mainly because what it was doing was loading like almost like a blank page as it was going through the page speed scores. And I'm sure there'll be loads of people that love NitroPack that will criticize my video, but go ahead, I don't care. But what I was wondering about this particular plugin because it is a plugin and you can get it for free. So you can see what it's kind of doing over here. Now, some of the things it obviously does is like the WebP of your images. It doesn't actually state if it does um, a preloading of fonts, although, although it does say optimizing font delivery. I need to test that out and see, does it actually preload them? The big thing though, is that it delays all of your JavaScripting and aggregating of your CSS. So in a way, by delaying them, it's kind of one of the, it reminds me a bit like Nitro Pack with how it gets a high speed score. And that's why I'm a little bit dubious over it. At the moment, you know, lazy loading, WebP of images, critical CSS generation as well. Now, what that means is that it creates this critical CSS for the website when it first loads. I don't fully understand it, but the key bit is the delaying of the CSS and the JavaScripting. By doing all of this together, it's meant to enhance and speed up your website in terms of loading and performance scoring and potentially mean you rank higher when it comes to Google. So let's just get started on this, okay? Now on one of our test websites, all I've got is Burfa AI, duplicate page, Elemental and Elemental Pro. There's no optimization loaded up on here whatsoever. In terms of the page speed score, it's getting 65 on the mobile and 81 on a desktop. Again, remember, I've removed all optimization from this test website. I'm also interested in the webpagetest.org website as well. What I like about this one though, is how you can actually uh, view it as a video file and you can actually play it back and like watch it in slow motion if you want, just to see how does it, how long does it take to load up, you know, the pages and what order do things appear on the page. There you go, that's just loading up. It's a fake page, by the way. Don't look at it and start analyzing how ugly it looks, all right? That's not the aim of it. So what we're now gonna do is go over to our website and we are going to install the um, uh, the plugin. So once you sign up for 10Web, you'll get a plugin which you download. I mean, all you do is just install it. Now, when you do activate, it is gonna take you to the dashboard, which, I found a little bit of a jerky thing. It just like moves you out into it, which you're not completely expecting. Also, because it takes you completely into the dashboard like it is now, you, you're not accessing your website unless you've got another tab or you hit back or whatever, or you can access it from the dashboard as well. You're not actually accessing it. So what we're gonna do now is this is just gonna run through and pull through. Now, you will notice here there is another website I also loaded through. Surprisingly, the score on here did not jump up. It was scoring pretty low and it did not go higher. What you see here is the desktop score. So before I loaded um, 10 web on, the score was about 67. When I then put 10 web on, the score actually went up to 71. It did not go up significantly, and I'm a bit confused as to why that happened, but I'm gonna test it on this website. So remember, at the moment, the score is 65, and on the desktop, it was 81. Please bear in mind, though, that there are the pricing options as well, if we just go through. So $10 a month, if well, if you paid $120 for the annual, or monthly is $14, and that's where you get loads more um, features and functionality, however, to really get the best out of the page booster, you've got to use their hosting platform, which is why you're paying for this. And I have to be honest, if you are already got hosting with your host or whatever, and like an SSL certificate, I, I'm not sure I'm liking this option. So what we're saying is for you to start getting all of these performance boosting malarkey, you've got to use their hosting solution. Isn't that a little bit kind of a backhand way of doing things? Why don't you just give them a pro premium version of the booster? Why are you getting them to do this? So I am reaching out to the 10 web people and say, 
do I really have to pay maybe $14 a month or even $120 a year? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure because when you look at other pro premium uh, solutions, you know, they're kind of tried and trusted. And like I said earlier, is this just another Nitro Pack delaying JavaScript way of putting your website through? I don't know yet. So that took just under five minutes and you can see the scores down here for the mobile we're at 100 and the desktop we're at 100 as well. It feels too good to be true. I've got to be really dubious over this because I know how much hard work you have to put in even with all Toptimize and other plugins. This is currently converting images into a WebP format. The automatic optimization is not on. If you do try and do this, it will say you've got to now buy the pro version like that, which I've already mentioned. I'm not really sure about that in terms of what you're paying for. In terms of settings, we are on the extreme, which is kind of good, I suppose. And you can add some custom rules as well, which I'm not overly fussed about. But what we have at the moment is the fact that it's now 100-100. And you can optimize up to five pages. Like, look, over here, like I said earlier, it says you can optimize the home page plus five pages as up to 10 websites. Sorry, I probably didn't say that clearly before. Um, so you can do the home plus five pages of up to 10 websites. Now, when you think about it, that is actually quite a decent amount for a basic website. And even if you have a shop website, you know, your home your shop page, maybe a few other pages like that, maybe you've got a portfolio. That's not a bad little option. The thing you're missing, though, is all of this back-end optimization. But again, that's what you pay pro, and then you're on their hosting platform. Now, that's the score we're getting here. When I run it on PageSpeed Insights, I am getting slightly different, but I will let that go because 98 on the desktop and 99 on the mobile, that's great. But what about down here? There's no recommendations. And this is where I have memories of Nitro Pack kicking in because the same thing happened with Nitro Pack. Is this the delay of the JavaScript now kicking in where it basically, look, it's a bit like having a blank page because everything is delayed and everything hits the high scores and then your content loads through. So if we now go over to webpagetest.org, so in a way, it is loading quicker. Bear in mind though, these sort of tests always seem to be slower than real life. And if I pull out my phone outside or inside, it is never three seconds. I can tell you now, it is not three seconds. It's not even a second. It just goes, just appears, right? But this is loading quicker. I, I want to like this. I really do. And it does seem to be working fine. And the test seems to be okay as well. Um... Is this as good as it makes out? I have reached out to the developers. I've reached out to their marketing director as well. I've sent them an email. I'm hoping they're going to get back to me because I've given them a list of questions about the JavaScripting. How does it compare to Nitro Pack? Because I gave them the reasons why I don't like Nitro Pack. But is this really good? With very little effort. I mean, <laughs> it's a free plugin. I can do up to five pages. Um, in fact, is it five pages plus the home page? I can't remember. Yeah, home page plus five pages that I can stick through here, right? You know, and optimize, optimize, whatever. This does seem really, really good. And I think over time, there'll be more testing, more checking it out. Hopefully, I get my questions answered about the Nitro Pack. And as soon as I do, I'll let you and Paul know um, just what happens. I mean, it just feels too good to be true. I've got to be honest, it feels too good. But then again, maybe that's how things have developed now. You know, maybe that's the reality of it, that there are good tools out there. Anyone trying this out, let us know how you get on. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win in life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.